Did you know that temperature affects almost everything in our lives? The temperature can even determine the sex of baby alligators and some plants and other things in nature. Which is pretty crazy, right? But what we're worried about with temperature today is horsepower. horsepower. And we're going to show you how to make a bunch of it. Hi, I'm Weldy and welcome back to Turbo World, where we make things go faster and last longer. So let's get moving. Stop what you're doing. I'm about to ruin all the images you're used to. So what is going on here? We move the intercooler from in between here to up here. And also, we're moving another intercooler in line. Because like I like to say a lot to a lot of new people on this channel, I should have named it the third time. Because that seems to be generally the time we do the job right and complete. And because I wanted to skip the third time theme... We're going to do it the second time right. So when I added the intercooler up front, I decided to add this intercooler too. Now the thought being, it's the hottest coming out of the turbo, right? So it goes through this air-to-air -air intercooler, right? Then it comes out the air-to-air -air intercooler cooler than it came out the turbo. Then gets cooled down by the water-to-air intercooler. That is the second stage of intercooling. There's water that passes through this core. And air that goes through here. Go in here. 
up here, into here, out of here, into the throttle body. Then I have two alcohol jets. You can probably barely see them. Well, they're not plugged in right now, but there's one right there and there's another right beside it. That's the third stage of intercooling that I have going on in this car. Then there is a secondary fuel rail. That's the fourth stage of intercooling that I have going on in this car that's E85. Then I have the primary E85 fuel rail, and that is the fifth stage of intercooling. So one, two, three, four, five stages of intercooling. Now we're going to make all this work a little bit at a time. So I hope you hang with us while we try to piece this all together. Doing a little test fit with the radiator, make sure it can move before I really commit to all this. I need to make sure that everything's going to fit in the spot. And so far, I just kind of threw the headlights in with a couple bolts so they wouldn't fall because they're expensive as hell. And uh, so they're just kind of sitting there with the two bolts on the fenders screwed in a little bit. And the hood is completely shut. And the radiator is leaned back and it looks like, I don't know man, this might work. All right, I've got the radiator in the hole. But you can see I'm still going to hit that. Probably have some razor blades at home. Straight razor. You stick it down in the vise just enough to cut the hose. Just enough to cut the hose. Hey, this is a curve piece. I thought it was straighter than that. Damn. Just go wherever you want to cut it. Slide it right down in there. Pull it right through. And then you have a cover for virtually anything that you could put a zip tie around and clamp up or a hose clamp or whatever depending on the heat or safety wire. Now if this doesn't scream the amount of trust I have for electric fans, I don't know what does. <laughs> it fits. It does fit. I think it looks better. So much more fun for me to go into this scrap box and look for brackets instead of making something nice from scratch. So as a result of that, my brackets look stupid. This one's actually two brackets. <laughs> original intercooler pipe for this side. I'm going to cut it where the gold spot is. Cut it in half. I'm going to use this piece to go over here. And then. some snags and stuff here we need to get out of here. I don't want that going to the motor or the turbo. She clean! Sometimes I cut little grooves in the pipe with my cutoff wheel. 
so that the hose clamps can have something to grab. A little rubber there. The Swedes definitely outdid us with zip ties. Y'all could talk about zip ties all you want. But there's nothing more satisfying than undoing a zip tie and redoing it. And not have to cut it or anything like that. Just pull the little deal back, pull through, pull the harnesses out. But leave the zip tie. How cool is that? I didn't have to have any tools to do that. Now this one up here, I'm going to have to get a little something to poke in there. Pull that one out or cut it. Right, I think what I'm going to do here is try to put everything that I need the most accessible up top. Open the paint can and the top breaks off. Yeah. Yep, looks like a sheet of metal. Beautiful. Because around here at Turbo World, we don't have to know what we're doing. We just have to look good doing it. Or make it look good doing it. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That. There's a new area code in town. And this one's got some play in it. Yeah, I moved that panel, painted it a little bit. Stuck it up there, bolted it in. I'm gonna clean up the wiring out a little bit and uh, keep on welding and getting after it. You know, just because I got a YouTube channel doesn't mean I'm perfect, right? Good. Just because my name is Weldy doesn't mean I can weld, right? Yeah, so uh, this is my glamour shots right here. My first mistake was using this crap right here that I had to knock a bunch of crap out of the floor before I could use it, and then it just punctured through, as you can see. My second mistake was being a jackass and kept on going when I looked at the inside of this and knew better. Uh, my third mistake was stainless steel wire filler on mild steel. And so that's what I got. So I took it back apart because this is kind of the two pieces I had together. I had this piece welded to this piece. I cut it, started over again, and this is what I ended up with uh, the last time. And uh, I mean, it ain't perfect, but shoot, man, it's an improvement. The only way you're going to improve out there, guys, is to start doing crap like this. No matter what the pages and social media says. Oh, ha, 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 look at this welder. What a joke. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You know what? That guy that's trying is going to go a lot further than the guy that's not trying. So give me a comment about this good stuff right here. Give me your best shot. I don't care. Give me an insult. I love it. It motivates me to be better. And you know what? All of you should embrace your insults, too. Because it should motivate you to feel better too, unless somebody's being just straight up hateful and lying about you. Which, you know, people do that. We're going to keep cracking with this. The next episode, hopefully we'll have our parts here to put this together. And, um, heck, make it work, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know what to do to keep your terrible world. Subscribe, like, bell. Bing! And, uh... Share with your friends, man, because if you don't share with your friends, if you don't share with your friends, I don't think YouTube's going to share for you. I mean, I share a lot, but I can't share for you.
Till then, see you next week. Thanks for watching. Keep your terrible world.